Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about alternate cores and alternate emulators. Now, we'll go more into detail in just a second, but the basic premise here is, let's just go to N64. A lot of these N64 games work great with RetroArch and the MooPen64 Plus core. But some of these games, like GoldenEye 007, at least in my experience and on my PC, work much better with an alternate core that you can get with RetroArch called Parallel. So if I go to 007 here, I would rather run this specific game here with the Parallel core instead of MooPen64. But like I mentioned, a majority of them work much better with MooPen64. So my default core for N64 is actually MooPen64. Now the way it sits right now, if I was to go over and manage my emulators, I'll go to my tools, manage, emulators, I'm going to find RetroArch from here, associated platforms, you can see from here that I actually have two N64 set up, but my default core is that MooPen64+. Plus. Now this actually works out great because if I just wanted to play that one game with the parallel core, I can go and search it again, I can right click, launch with, RetroArch, and I can choose the core. But sometimes this does get a bit annoying. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to set up a different instance of RetroArch or basically any other emulator that you want to run a certain game with. That way we don't affect our default emulator because like I mentioned, everything else works really well with MooPen64. But a few of these games just perform much better, at least on my system, with a different core altogether. So this is actually pretty simple to do. From our drop down, we're going to go ahead and add a new emulator. So I'm going to go to my tools, manage, emulators. I'm going to add an emulator and the instance of this emulator is going to be called RetroArch2. You can basically name it whatever you want as long as you know what you want to add here. But I'm going to go with RetroArch2 because I'm going to set this up with that specific parallel core instead of MooPen. And keep in mind this can be done with any emulator. It doesn't specifically have to be RetroArch. This is just the example that I'm going to be using. So I've set my new emulator name as RetroArch2. I'm going to browse to my RetroArch EXE. I'm going to be using the same install of RetroArch that I have set up with the original emulator. I don't have to re-download it and create a second instance of that at all. Move over to Associated Platforms. From the drop-down menu, I'm going to call this N64. And the core I'm going to use with this one, instead of MooPen64, I'm going to use that parallel core. Now I'm not going to set this as my default emulator because everything else works great with that other core I already have set up. So we're going to leave it just like this, choose OK, and now when we scroll through our emulator list under Manage Emulators, you'll see we have RetroArch, we also have our RetroArch 2. So I'm going to close this out. Now all you need to do is navigate to the game you want to run with that new emulator we added, which would be GoldenEye 007. We're going to right click, we're going to edit, edit metadata, and from here we're going to scroll down to emulation and as you can see my default emulator for this specific game is RetroArch but that's set up with MooPen64. If I go to the drop down we now have that new RetroArch 2. So when this starts up with RetroArch 2 we're going to be using that alternate core which was parallel. So we'll choose OK. We'll go back to 007 and just to give you an idea here we're going to go ahead and start it up And you can see that we're using the parallel core instead of Moopin with this specific game only. If I press F1 on my keyboard, it's going to bring me into the RetroArch menu. I'm going to back up again. We can go to Information, Core Information. And you can see that's the core we're using with 007 GoldenEye. Now I'm going to completely exit RetroArch and we're going to start up another game. We'll just go with Beetle Adventure Racing. And when this starts up, you'll see that instead of using that parallel core, we're using Moopin64+. Again, F1, Backup, Information, Core Information, and there you have it. So instead of having to right click on that specific game every time, we can set it up automatically to launch with a whole different emulator. 
All we need to do is add another instance of that emulator, or if you're not going to be using a different core in RetroArch, you can add a whole different emulator altogether. And for that, since we're still here with N64, I do have another emulator installed for Nintendo 64 games. I'm just going to head over to my tools here. If we take a look down the list, I also have Project 64 installed. This is not my default emulator. You can see right here, Associated Platforms, N64. Not my default, because there are a few games that do work really well with this, but it's not my go-to emulator. But, if you wanted to swap this out, it's really easy to do, and we can actually do a bulk edit to change the emulator with several games in this section here. And in order to do that, all we need to do is select a few games. So I'm going to hold Control on my keyboard, and we'll just go with uh, the Banjo games. I'll go with, um, let's do Batman. I'll just choose a couple random games here. So I've got these games selected, and I want to change these to use the Project 64 emulator instead of RetroArch. Now that i got them selected, right-click, Bulk Edit Wizard, choose Next, and from the field here, we're going to choose Emulator. This is going to allow us to change the emulator used with each of those games that we have chosen right now in the Bulk Edit Wizard. I'll find Project 64, choose Next, and no, I do not need to make any more changes. So now, when I go to start those games there, the Banjo games, I did uh, Batman Beyond, and Blues Brothers 2000, instead of starting up with RetroArch, be it with the Moopin Core or the Parallel Core, it's going to start up with Project 64, a totally different N64 emulator. And using the Bulk Edit Wizard to change this makes it really easy if you have several games that you want to use that specific emulator with. But yeah, as you can see, it's really easy to add an alternate emulator for games that require it or just work better with a different emulator or core using RetroArch. This does come in handy with Arcade, N64, and there's a few other platforms in here or systems that do have alternate emulators that might perform better with specific games. So just keep that in mind. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.